Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. Now, how long will it take before you can buy an EV with a thousand kilometers of range? Well, not very long, it would appear. I'll get to that in a minute. One of the biggest reasons for this slow adoption, while well, slow as of a year ago, but rapidly speeding up now, of EVs has been range anxiety. Yep, a lot of people want more range than EVs can currently give them. Now, or than an EV that they can afford can currently give them. Now, how long is that going to take? Well, not very long, I can assure you. Looking at the technology on a day-to-day -day basis and seeing where it is going, seeing the energy density of batteries improving and seeing incredible decreases in the costs of those batteries. Yes, I know there are some detractors who believe that is not happening, but I'm here to tell you guys you're mathematically wrong. And I can give you as much mathematical evidence on why you're wrong as you want. Just message me on my Facebook page and I'll show you all the evidence as to why batteries have declined in cost enormously over the last decade and will continue to decline in cost enormously over the next decade, meaning that the average buyer, you and me, the average person making an average wage will be able to buy an EV with a thousand kilometers of range very soon. Now, if you don't believe me, well, the GAC Aeon LX, a Chinese car, just achieved an incredible 904 kilometers of range in an extreme weather test. Now, GAC officially, Guangzhou Automotive Group Company Limited, is a Chinese automobile maker headquartered in Guangzhou, Guangdong, and a subsidiary of Guangzhou Automobile Industry Group. It is the fifth largest producer of passenger cars in China. So, getting back to why I think, not think, I know that your car will be able to drive you a thousand kilometers within five years, your affordable EV car. Well, one of the key reasons is competition. Everybody is getting into electric vehicles now, and the pressure is on both battery companies and car manufacturers to increase the energy density of their batteries while decreasing costs and to increase the efficiency of vehicles while simultaneously decreasing the entire vehicle cost. This is a challenging task, but it's one that companies are taking on right now and succeeding in, clearly. Now, with the average EV in China getting around 400 to 5 kilometers of NEDC range, they're probably more like 350 to 400 kilometers of range in the real world, depending on the options. It's quite incredible to think that the first 1,000 kilometer range production vehicles will hit the market later this year, if you believe the claims of GAC. Now, according to an official press release, the 1,000 kilometer range GAC Aeon LX has recently completed it's hot weather testing in the great city of Sanya. The hot 36 degrees and humid 90% weather conditions allow manufacturers to test vehicles in extreme conditions while being fairly close to home, at least. Now, in mixed driving conditions and with the air conditioning on, which obviously substantially drains electric car batteries, the Aeon LX achieved 904 kilometers of range, indicating that 1,000 kilometers of range is achievable in less extreme conditions and perhaps with a bit of hypermile. Well, remember that this GAC Aeon is actually an SUV and obviously aerodynamics significantly matter. So if this car had been, say, a sedan or a lower a car with better aerodynamics, it would have gone significantly further. So the car utilized a proprietary silica-based cathode battery using a 150 kilowatt hour battery assembly on board the Aeon LX. It makes the battery 20% smaller and the volume is 14% lighter by mass than the current 650 kilometer range version. Now the energy density of these cells is around 280 watts per kilo compared to around 224 watts per kilo for a 2019 Nissan Leaf and 260 watts per kilo for the Tesla Model 3. But I believe that the new 4680 battery cells coming from Tesla will have more like around about 320 watts per kilo. Now, as hot weather testing is usually the last test carried out by mainstream Chinese car manufacturers, it's pretty safe to assume the Aeon LX will arrive on the market later on this year. Now, I've got a question for you. Does 1,000 kilometers of range solve your range anxiety? Because if it doesn't, then maybe there is no solution for you. 
but I think I suspect that a thousand kilometers of range will solve range anxiety for 99.9% .9 of human beings on the planet. Now remember, Tesla has 1.2, actually 1.3 million pre-orders for the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck that I pre-ordered, the tri-motor version, has 800 kilometers of range and costs 70,000 US dollars. But remember, this is a gigantic, non-aerodynamic brick of a vehicle. Sure, it's more aerodynamic than a Ford F-150 pickup truck, but compared to most cars, it's extremely non-aerodynamic with all of its angular shapes. Now, if you deployed that same battery in that vehicle into a normal car, let's say a station wagon or a mid-sized SUV, you would easily get over 1,000 kilometers of range. Now, one of the reasons the range is only, only 800 kilometers in that Cybertruck is because it's massive, it's heavy, it's shaped like a brick, it's got huge knobby tires on it, and yet Tesla still say they can get 800 kilometers of range out of that vehicle. And here in China, GAC is saying they can get 900 kilometers of range out of an SUV right now. Right now. Just imagine what kind of range you'll get in five years. The future is extremely exciting. So exciting, in fact, that I made a YouTube channel to tell people all about it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.